Hello, Yeladim. I hope you had a wonderful day celebrating Yom Ha'atzma'ut. I would like to count the Omer with you. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Al Svirat HaOmer. Today is day 21 of the Omer. So let's write that down on a chart. And we've got a two and a one makes 21. So we have one week here. Let's count the days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one week. Let's count our second week. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's week two. And now let's see how many days we have in our third week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count the numbers we see. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. A full week, we have seven days, which means we are going to bundle. Remember, we have seven days in a week. We already did one week of seven days, two weeks of seven days, and let's count for this week. Make sure we have enough. We should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one for today is seven. So we're going to bundle these up and then all together we will now have three weeks. Now we said that seven days is one week. Seven weeks is the whole Omer and we've already done one week, two weeks, three weeks. How many more weeks do we have left of the Omer? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Four more weeks for the Omer until we get our special, special gift, the Torah. I wanted to continue and talk about another artist today. I hope all of you got to work in the style of our first artist, Edvard Munch, and maybe you got to use some finger paint or just markers or regular paint, and you got to make some wavy lines. Well, I want to introduce the new artist we're gonna talk about today. His name is George Surratt, and here's a picture of him. He's not alive anymore, but he is another famous artist. And he did a kind of art that we call pointillism. And I want to show you how he did his art. I'm going to show you a painting of his called A Sunday, yes, can you see that? A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jete. And here is the painting. It's a beautiful painting out, people are out. And if you look a little closer, and I'm going to show you a picture of his work. A little bit closer, you can see the way that he did his art is he had little dots of paint. So when you look far away at his painting, it just looks like a regular beautiful painting. But as you get closer, and especially in this one that I put a little zoomed in, you can see the little dots that he used of paint to make his painting. And I want to show you in a book that I have another painting of his. Can you see it? Again, you can see the little dots. So I thought maybe with your families as your homework, maybe you can do a painting or a drawing just like George Surratt where you can do little dots to do your painting or drawing. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna do a flower that I'm going to make and I'm going to make my flower all 
with little dots. And you can do yours your own way. You can even try, if you want, to do your name in dots and see if you make little dots, if you can make a picture that when you look at it all together, you can see. You'll tell me what you think if you can notice what picture I made. I tried to make a flower out of dots. That's how I decided to do mine. You can do yours any way you like. I just realized sitting in front of me, I forgot to add a cube for the Omer. Thanks for letting me go back. It's starting to get so big, soon it's not gonna fit into the screen. So today, I hope that you can work as our next artist, George Surratt. And if you do and you make a picture, have your families take a picture of it and send it to me. I'd love to see your work. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.